Yo, what up, guys? Shy with you here to share with you some news coming from Raid Shadow Legends and to tell you some final preparation steps that you can do to help you get this Vault Keeper Week 12 fusion, which is officially announced in the game coming May 9, which is gonna be tomorrow. By the time you're watching this video, this fusion might have started tomorrow. But here's a few things you can do to prepare to make sure you farm enough and um, potions because that's one thing that newer players tend to miss when trying to prepare for an old school fusion like this which will require rare champions and epic champions to be fused up to this legendary champion so first off let's get the news out of the way that they just announced in their content creator chat which is going to be tomorrow may the 9th they have a 2x um drop fever event to give you speed artifact it seems like this fusion will start with a dragon tournament it's not yet in the um calendar it's not yet you can't find it right here they've not posted it right here in the calendar of the player on play but it's starting for with a dragon tournament that's what it feels like because there is a 2x event when you find the dragon that ninth of um, may that you get a double chance of getting speed artifact from the dragon so it's good that it's the same time you're running along with the same time that the um, super rate is going on so you have super rates you have a 2x chances of getting speed artifacts from the dragon no excuse not to farm the dragon tomorrow whether you're going for week 12 fusion or not this is an awesome event to go for especially if you're still at that level where speed artifacts are still very valuable for you at least all players in raid value that end game players value less than newer players who need it the most in every content so that's the first event that this fusion will start up with may the ninth dragon farm it whether you're going for this fusion or not because you have the drop fever event of giving you speed artifacts it's very very important people go crazy and spend four thousand gems in that dragon at that point and sell like 90 percent of the gear hoping to get that odd roll of speed artifacts to get their arbiter or their fastest champion going really, really crazy spots in the arena but anyways let's see on the tuesday well on the um, sunday that's gonna be may the 12th another drop you is coming up this time around it will give you cost set from the ice golem's peak so that's one set that recently got really really buffed where yeah, it's now very valuable because it has a chance of plating hex hex is one debuff that is extremely valuable in content like the hydra to make sure you do more damage on all the heads not just one at the same time so that's the cost set right here usually put on tanky champions so they can always make sure you land this hex so you don't always have to rely on a vitrala which is the ultimate or the default go-to for hex so that's a set that most people are focused on hydra want to always get on most of their champions so hex is always on all the champions at the same time so especially that head that you cannot target without hex you can always target him that's the artifact that is the most valuable right now from the ice golem that will be dropping it as a drop fever event on may the 12th and finally on may the 16th you have another drop fever to give you regeneration set that's dropping from the fire knight castle when you farm it on the may 16th you have a double chance that when you get artifact right here it will be a regen set which is one of the most valuable sets for end game content newer players really don't value this they still prefer to use a life steal um, but regen set gives you that healing that you need a 15 percent heal every turn whether you uh, do damage or not it will just give you that 15 percent heal so that's why it's awesome especially in um, content like the fashion wars or even doom towers regen set end game content set unfortunately newer players cannot farm it comfortably because at that stage of the newer player you are still farming early stages of the fire knight 15 or so but once you begin to hit 20 or an above that's when you begin to really value this set because you can put it on a lot of champions who need their own healing self-sustained healing or even solo champions need a lot of regen sets all right that's the um may 16th regen set oh there's one more another drop fever this time around for sacred other accessories i talked about it the last time that nobody really values when they do drop fever for spider because he's focusing on one um faction and this time around it's going to be sacred order as i speak right now sigan watchers accessories is going on including a tournament that is launching with it right I'm already family getting some rewards including ancient shard and a void i mean an epic skill tome on that tournament i'm not really family because of sivan watchers so on may the 19th you have a double chance of getting sacred order accessories when you farm the spider may the 19th so whether you're family at level 20 also 
don't be surprised when you begin to get a crazy amount of secret order and um, accessories is because there is a drop fever event which boosts the chances of getting secret other accessories by two on that day to last for maybe a day or two i think normally so look for the drop fever label in game to know when the event is live this is how the drop fever label looks if you always go back from the, you can always see which drop fever event is running right here you can see it by the logo this time around the 3x but this time because there's a fusion going around at the same time as this they decided to do it a 2x drop fever for all these dungeons dragon um ice golem fire knight and spider all have a drop fever coming in from may 19th all the way to may may 9th all the way to may 19th so it's not really a big deal but if you plan ahead especially if you're not going for this fusion if you plan ahead and you want this specific artifact set you can plan save energy save gems and focus on that day and go crazy and farm it that's why we always have to put out this news before the event launches so you guys can know what's coming up so this gives you an idea of what the fusion will entail but by the time we see the fusion calendar tomorrow we'll talk about that separately today we just wanted to drop this information now what's the next thing that i wanted to talk about is your final fusion prep that you should be doing right now in the game by now you already see the in-game news that says these are the champions that will be used to fuse this vault keeper weeks well four copies of the same champion and from the other content creators who have access to the test test server who have all done different videos talking about this epic champion and the rares right so we can already tell that this is going to be a force affinity champion i saw it on the hills video so that's going to be a force affinity champion and i'll tell you how many potions you should be farming right now in the first potion keep to make sure you have enough to get these champions five star five star five star five star fully ascended to get weeks well you can do it the prep before the fusion start or you can do the prep on any day where you have a free day as long as you don't wait until the end of the fusion to do it so you don't have to spend gems to open the fusion keep or you don't have to run out of resources while doing while spending all your energy on those fusion events so if you're a newer player you know energy is a big deal so if you have energy today spend it on farming these force potions make sure you have enough before that fusion goes live so i'll be telling you exactly how many you need i'm using one um cold brew fusion calculator that he did way back i'm still using it and it's still very very um, accurate i think i hope it's not wrong yet but anyways that's the fusion epic champion four copies and the rares yes rares will also be needed they are void rares that's still a speculation speculation because we don't yet see the rares in this picture but from what we've seen from the content creators who have access to the test server only one rare was released and they feel like it's going to be 16 copies of that rare a void rare and the void rare is not that hard to farm but knowing that it's void it's only open on sunday so make sure when sunday comes around you go in there and farm a lot of those lesser potions because that's what void champions need to get their ascension to three star i think that's what you need to ascend them and then let's go over there and see what i'm talking about so you can be better prepared this is the fusion calculator i'm talking about and like i said this was way back then when cold brew released it and it's still working till now and you can see right here rares total 16 rares yes that's all void epics four epics all force four, force epics and these are the total you need right here for the force greater you need 80 and then for the force superior you need 24 so with that out of the way let's come down to the voids you need 160 lesser void potions and 64 greater void potions and then for the arcane let me get myself out of the way so you can see it clearly or screenshot it you will need 80 lesser arcane potions you need 108 uh, greater arcane potions and 12 superior arcane potions that's not a lot for the superiors at least because that's the one that is kind of difficult or hard to farm i'll screenshot this and share it on the discord in case you are missing out on this i'll just share this little screenshot on the discord so people can know or be better prepared i hope i didn't make any mistake about that calculation i just used this old calculator and i hope it's still very very accurate so that's what i wanted to share with you guys but that's not all knowing that you need this number of rares you need this number of epics there's still one more fusion prep that is essential especially if you not have time or during the fusion is to prepare for all the three star chickens 
all the two star chickens and all the four star chickens you need to feed to this champion so if i go to upgrade let's say i wanted to upgrade the champions who is currently four star see i i didn't i don't even have to worry i have chickens to do it for me but i'm just saying this is how much you need one two three four for one four star one two three four for another four star basically 16 right 16 chickens or 16 other four stars to feed into that champion so if you have not prepared 16 four star chickens right now or during the champion training during the fusion prepare them so you can feed them to that um epic champion but they are not yet in the game so you can feed them and get these champions to five star because all these champions need to be five star five star five star five star and the best way to prepare right now before the fusion starts is to begin to prepare four star chickens four for this champion four for this champion four for this champion and four for this champion that's one prep that will make your champion training or make your life a lot a lot easier i have chickens to do it for me so i don't even have to prep for the rest but if you want to prepare for the rest that's even a lot of rare chickens or rare champions you have to prepare for so you can do it now you can do it during the champion training whatever you decide make sure you have enough energy to last you throughout the fusion that's the most important part so those are the only two key things i wanted to share with you guys the events that are coming up the drop fever events and also this amount of um push on keep prep that you should do before any fusion start especially old school fusion like this we always have to put out this information for newer players who are not yet aware this is what makes you start a fusion and come into it and live even with more energy than you started with because you did all this prep before the fusion started so in my main account if i go there i'll see how much prep i have done for um, potions i think i don't even need to farm potions on this account because i uh, daily i get enough potions see it's a potion mixer so an end game account like this well that's inaccurate i still need to farm about six of these which i can use for the but it's gonna cost me a lot of silver by the time clan boss resets tomorrow i will probably have enough superiors right here to complete the tool that is required for this entire fusion but for the rest for post skip i'm good for the void i'm good i don't even need to farm anything for a newer account like the um, noob to pro which i'll move over here accounts like this are the ones that need to do the prep so if i go to the ascend and push on keep you can see an account like this doesn't have an account like this also has the voids to do it also has the superiors to do it just see. so check out how many you have compared with this table right here and make sure you have enough before the fusion start just a little tip it's not a big deal you can always use gems to open the potion keep to farm it on the days that you don't have uh, enough time to farm it before the fusion ends and fuse that champion remember this is going to be an old school fusion you cannot save it and wait for the fusion calendar tomorrow and talk more detail about which well and how we can go about getting him hopefully they don't make it too difficult don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily raid content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.